In the 1860s, the U.S. Army tried to herd Native Americans onto smaller and smaller parcels of land to make room for white settlers from the east. When negotiations with the Army failed, the Indians fought to keep their land, often in savage battles, like one that occurred 40 miles north of Fort Lyon, Colorado, at a place called Sand Creek. The Sand Creek Massacre is probably one of the most um, horrific um, encounters between Native Americans and the U.S. federal government. In 1864, about 800 Colorado militiamen attacked an unsuspecting band of Cheyenne and Arapaho Indians who thought they were under federal protection. And they had signed a negotiation with the federal government where they had agreed to come into the reservation at Fort Lyon. 160 Indians were killed there, mostly women and children. The soldiers scalped or mutilated many of them. It's difficult to talk about the kind of brutality, but the scalping of people, the maiming of people, Chivington's men actually taking the heads and scalps of women and children and parading them through the streets of Denver a week later when they come back into town. Word of the killings spread rapidly it sent the Great Plains into an eruption of violence on both sides that was absolutely horrific. Native Americans retaliated not only against U.S. troops, but against homesteaders who were out on the Great Plains. The cycle of violence continued for years as Native Americans were forced into smaller and smaller parcels of land. In 1877, a tribe of Indians called the Nez Perce tried to escape to Canada to avoid another massacre. They were led by a chief by the name of Joseph. Chief Joseph really was somebody who saw the futility of trying to engage with the federal government or trying to combat federal troops who were out on the Great Plains and really just wanted to remain separate. He wanted his people, the Nez Perce, to be able to stay within a particular area, to be left alone uh, from both settlers and from the federal government. Chief Joseph led his people on a 1,300-mile trek through the West. When the Army caught up with the Nez Perce, they promised to return them to their ancestral home in Idaho. Instead, they were sent to a dusty reservation in Kansas, where nearly half the tribe died from disease. Despite fierce resistance, the government's Indian removal policy ultimately succeeded. Indians who were once used to freely roaming the land were now confined to tiny reservations where their descendants remain to this day.